In honor of talking to me and the poo tonight, we're going to discuss a little bit about <laughs> other fictional bears as just a little kind of a warm up. I know it took me a while to set things up, but here we are. So, uh, there's plenty of fictional bears out there besides Winnie the Pooh. They're iconic, you know. Uh, there's plenty of choosers. There's, there's live action bears that they've been used. There's animation bears. There's bears in, in books, video games. Yo. And, uh, bears in award shows that applaud for their co-stars. <laughs> their co -stars, just they're like... That's right, the Revenant from the Oscars. That's right. I remember that. I'm just on edge now, people. It's a okay. Really? Yeah, I like the one where he pushes the attic and they try to save him. Yeah, that's that's the first one. That's the first one. I have. And then there's one where, like, what the ghost people get, like, chicken pox, and they realize it's just little dots. <sighs> that's a cliche in most cartoons, but... Yeah, I have these VHSs. Oh, little bear, too. I love the cartoons. I have... Yeah, I have Old Bear and Other Stories, Little Bear Lost, and Little Bear's Trousers and Other Stories. And... You're gonna love this, Morgan. I actually have some of the original books! So I have Old Bear, Jolly Tool, and Little Bear Lost. I assume the we used to have the original Old Bear and you know, the Ghost Yeah. So was yours like over in America? I gather the um, the narration was different. You didn't have the wonderful Anton Rogers. No, it's it's been a while since I've seen them, but I all all of them are in stop motion, and that's really about it. Mm. That's I. Um, in terms of fictionalized future bears, like, the ones I remember the most are Old Bear, Corduroy, Paddington, and oh, yes. Little Bear. There was a big animation book. Um, yeah, I remember Little Bear. What, the, the animated one where there's like a chicken and like yeah. a cat and a duck and... and... A cat. Is that the one where the bear and the chicken would make out with each other in Arthur? What? That legit happened in, that legit happened in Arthur. That yeah, <laughs> chicken and a bear. What? Hold on a sec. I know there is a GIF of it on Facebook. In Arthur, the the show that's been running for twenty years now. Yeah. Ow. What? My my poor brain is having to comprehend all of this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look, look on Facebook. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's in it's in your group. What? Do you, what were you expecting? I was making it up. Hey, look! Hey, look! He kissed. Hey, look! She kissed him in the pecker. Next scene. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful time to play. We learn to laugh and play and get along with each other. <laughs> yes, chicken, I am the bat. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be a long night. Give Matt a flack for me. <laughs> you need to protect me. You're my father. Devin's not here. You're not safe. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> Morgan's nice. <laughs> I am here for your parents. <laughs> So who's the chicken and who's the bear? <laughs> no, I point up you horrified. 
I'll be on a roll. I didn't want to see it, so... Because I just thought, is it actually going to, like, some people, like, in other places, like, other countries and children might be like, oh, yeah, patenting and stuff, but I'm like, is it going to be as good as the 1975 series, you know? It's like, why mess with a good thing and just, you know. I'll give, I'll give it this much. I like the weird qualities of Mr. Kirby. I thought he was a great casting choice. If anybody's ever seen it, which... Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Everything else... Like, the weirdest thing of all, like, with Mr. Curry, a lot of people will know this from, like, watching the TV series. Like, he never called Paddington, Paddington. He never did. It was always, Bear, what are you up to? Bear, Bear, what are you up to? Yep, 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 bear. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, the <laughs> traditional Coca-Cola polar bears. Those are your fictional bears. Yeah, they're the, right like, here. <gasps> <gasps> I have a funny story to tell you. Basically, like, in my household, it's not Christmas until we've seen the Coca-Cola ad, and it has to be the holidays are coming. And I was just about to finish my shift at work, and I could hear it on the telly, I'm like, Wait, is that what I think I can hear? And I'm like, oh my god, it's been on the telly. I must phone my sister. And I left her a voice message saying, I've seen it on the telly at work. It's officially Christmas. And, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, but Morgan, Morgan, keep in mind, we can't forget about our boy. We can't forget about our main boy. Yo, the best bear. What is our best bear? Number one best bear, man. Country bear? Close. No, 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 no. Our bear, man. Our bear. Your teddy, your teddy bears from your childhood. Come on. Here's a hint. Da -na 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 -na. Forget our boy Fozzie Bear. Hey, you, co hey you, you call me to the bears, Ebenezer. This is watching that again. How, how come I got that a lot quicker than you did, Morgan? <laughs> I used to be scared of the Muppets as a kid, and like, and you're like a hardcore Muppet fan. It's like you know. Uh, I, I forgot the the, the theme song, but then you said Waka Waka. That's when I kicked it. I, I got it by the theme tune, it was like... And there's Bobo, too. Bobo. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bobo. Bobo. Oh, Bobo. I love Bobo. Oh, Bobo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bobo. Can't forget Bobo. Oh, 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 Morgan, Bobo. You don't... Morgan, did you forget about Bobo? No, no we can't forget about Bobo. He, he's got a new show, but up to Space Man. That was a big strike. Nah. Morgan, we forget it. We forget it. We don't talk about Muppets from Space. No. I'm not. <laughs> like your, it was like your vlog, Matt. It's like, uh, if anybody's wondering whether there's an answer to that, no, there isn't. We do not talk about Muppets from Space. It is forbidden. <laughs> if you want to see why Sylvie Tales and everything, go watch that movie. It is perfect. I... I remember I saw the ending of Muppets from Space, but it was like, I thought it was somehow when they did back, 
I thought it was um, something they did back in the 70s, but I, when I did more research, I was like, oh, okay, it was done in the 90s, so. Uh, it was only, it was just a desperate way for, for the Muppets to escape Disney after the failure of uh, Muppets Treasure Island. Muppet what, are you, say, are you saying Muppet it was self sabotage Muppet Treasure Island did well, it just wasn't the that, no, but that was the thing, is that it was a bit, from what I've heard, it was a bit of a, like, they were disappointed with the box office results, and they weren't really pleased with their contract with Disney, and they wanted to find a way to get out of it, so they decided to sign on with Sony. Because originally, the deal was, was that uh, they signed on with a three-movie deal, and they only made two of them, uh, Muppet's Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island. That's why they skipped ahead, and, like, they did Muppet's in space. Wow, quit while you're ahead. I know that too because remember uh, Sony or Tommy or whoever, they had a lot of ideas. They had a time travel one. Uh, they did a lot of songs for a Hamlet version. That would have been interesting. I think it was called Kermit and Denmark. Kermit and Denmark. Uh, Kermit Prince of Denmark. It would have been like what? a Hamlet version of the Muppets. Uh, it would have mm. been a Muppet version of Hamlet. Muppets doing Hamlet. Yeah, yeah. And, they had, and they already had song demos ready. There's something they want. I just had a really interesting thought. If you cast um, Hamlet as a girl and had Miss Piggy do it, Miss Piggy is Hamlet. Uh, think uh, think that, about that. it. Think about it. Miss Piggy playing Hamlet. No, uh, no, 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 no. You know who would be best? Link. Yes. Put Link as Hamlet. Yes, yes Link on Rob. Yes. I was like, I was like, you know, Miss Piggy being Hamlet, Pig, Ham. <laughs> you get the joke. <laughs> yeah, we get the joke. We just, we Muppet boys got a better idea. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Shut up, Shakespeare. Which reminds me, Morgan, what do you think so far about the new Pigs in Space? I like the Alien one. I didn't see the Gravity parody yet. Oh, it's but... good, actually. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Um, honestly, I want to see where this goes. I like how they're reviving an old sketch and bring it to modern times. I think if they keep it up this way, they might have something here. Um, and if they keep it up, I'd like to see them do something like, say, Veterinary Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, did it? Was it Veterinary Hospital? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Veterinarian's Hospital. I mean, um, yeah, but they don't have a lot. Like, one that I can guarantee could be a success if they do, like, short video, if they bring back Swedish Chef. Yes. Yes. Like, I mean, they, like, yes. Swedish Chef is one of the best bits in the Muppet Show itself already. So, like, just yeah. have a bunch of YouTube videos like that. Like, why not? And then they had a lot of Swedish Chef even before they did the movies, too. So there's oh, yeah. Hot, um, get them mixed up with Beaker and the other one. <clears throat> Air. Or all oh, Muppet Labs. Yes. Yes. No. Do more of those. Do more of those. They did like only one or two of those. Then there was the Halloween one where he became something ghosts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're... They yeah. Something. He he, he, he puts a camera. Mm -hmm. So this whole house and this ghost house and stuff. And I think this is like some kind of like horror mystery that he did to him. That'd be a nice way to start. Hey, it's not mine. And he asked me to message you, Mike, so. Well, he sent it to the group so everybody can see no, that. Good to know. I mean, we need to bring in more publicity for this. But no, I, th I think what they're doing is a step in the right direction. Oh, yeah, no, this is definitely good. I I'm liking it so far. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, the same, and the same thing, too, with the, the comics. I mean, the storyteller, they're doing like Dragon Dragons, I think Tommy Cox is in it. Um, the Little Demon and Witches. So at least it's good that even after the you know after the 2015 Muppets, there is still a small bit left. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is just some of uh, the things we're talking about today, so hope you enjoy this little conversation, and uh, let's get to the meat of the podcast. The podcast. Come again, yeah. Yeah. come again, don't even uh, know yeah. come again, come so, again. Oh, God. See you guys. Cast. Yeah. Bye. Okay. See you in the podcast. Yeah, I gotta oh, throw in oh. Bear somewhere. Okay. Little Pooh would like to say, see you in the podcast, and right. hope you had fun. And right. give the video a big like, and go subscribe to Mike. <laughs> oh, that's so the bear. Subscribe to the bear. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>